Check this out. You think the pufferfish puffs up? Wrong. They don't puff. They weaponize water. They literally chug it at super speed. Their stomach expands by 100 times its normal size. But that's just the beginning. That bumpy skin is just the armor. They don't even have scales. Instead, they have tiny, stiff little bumps called spinules hidden all over their bodies. When they inflate, those tiny spinules pop out, instantly turning them into a spiky, unswallowable balloon. But that bumpy skin is just the armor. The real danger is what's hidden inside. Pure poison. This fish is the second most poisonous vertebrate on Earth. No way! Just one little puffer fish contains enough tetrodotoxin to take out up to 30 adult humans. Wait, before you panic, where does that deadly poison even come from? Because the most shocking part is that the fish doesn't even make the poison itself. It actually gets its deadly power from its food by eating smaller, bacteria-laden prey. That food chain turns its organs into a potent chemical factory. That's how it works. To collect all that poison, they need the ultimate eating machine. Instead of hundreds of tiny fish teeth, a puffer fish has only four fused teeth. They form one solid, super strong beak perfect for crushing the hardest shells like a nutcracker. And those powerful beaks? They're on a constant grind. They have to be. Because their four teeth never stop growing, they constantly need hard things to chew on. Like nature's underwater beaver, they gnaw to survive. If they don't, their mouth locks shut. All that chewing and puffing comes with a sacrifice. It leads to a huge secret weakness. This lethal fish has a huge secret weakness. They are terrible swimmers. They rely on their tiny fins, like little paddles, but their stiff body means they can't dart or wiggle away. They are basically a big, tough target, forced to depend on the puff as their only escape plan. But here's the mind-blowing paradox of the puff. When they inflate, they look like they're holding their breath. Even when fully inflated, they're not holding their breath. The gills stay functional the entire time. They're actively sucking in oxygen to remain a puffed-up tank for minutes, waiting for the threat to leave. That's like running a marathon while breathing through a tiny straw. It's exhausting, but it works. Forget the puff for a second. Let's talk about romance. The pufferfish is actually an artist. The male white-spotted pufferfish spends a whole week building this incredible six-foot-wide geometric crop circle. He meticulously designs it to attract a mate. If the current flattens it, he has to start all over again. It's a six-foot-wide piece of art. If the female approves, she lays her eggs right in the center. All right, you think that's wild? Hold on to your seat for this final mind-blowing reveal. Pufferfish have demonstrated complex thinking abilities, including being able to learn and complete simple mazes. This goofy, clumsy fish is far smarter than its balloon-like looks suggest. It's a genius. So there you have it. The pufferfish might just be the most surprisingly complex creature on the coral reef. So the next time you see this goofy, balloon-like fish, remember... It's a chemical weapon expert. A genius architect.
and an unswallowable tank. If you loved these facts, smash that like button, subscribe to National Geographic Kids. And tell us which fact blew your mind in the comments below. Next time, we're diving into the creature that can regenerate its entire body. You won't believe the axolotl.